Hi, I'm Matt from HockeyReviews.ca and today I'm going to do a comparison between the demo set of the One X pads and the actual set that was sent to me for the One X pads. Um, so I'm just going to go over some of the differences I found between them because they're not actually identical and I'll go over some of the difference, differences between the gloves too and some of the similarities because um, I found that these sets are slightly different so I'm not sure if the demos were kind of a prototype or what happened to them but I just want to talk about them because I will be reviewing this set and I won't be reviewing this set. So when I talk about them, uh, the, the demo set, you'll kind of get a uh, general idea of any slight differences or similarities between what you could get retail. So first of all, I'm going to be talking about the catching gloves. Um, so they aren't the same in that this, or my set was a pro palm and this was just a stock retail palm. Um, both of these gloves were made in Canada they have the tags right here. And I've heard that all gloves, all 1X gloves are made in Canada. I don't know if that's true or not. Um, I found that some 1S gloves were made in Canada and others were not. So it's kind of a hit or miss, but both of these sets are. Um, the gloves themselves are pretty similar. I didn't really find much differences between them, but just because one is a pro palm and one is a practice palm, I want to show the difference and how they close in case people, or sorry, one's a pro palm and one's a retail palm. But I still want to show the differences in how they close just so people get an idea for them. Okay, so this is the pro palm. Now this isn't worked in at all. I This is straight out of the box. I've worn it around the house a couple times, but that's about it. Um, again, this isn't used, right? So that's pretty, not awful. And the retail one, now this one has taken more games. I think I've probably played about 20 games with this. As you can see, it's broken in pretty good. Um, it closes pretty well. It's not super, super broken in, but it's pretty nice where the, the Pro Palm doesn't close that well. Um, the materials of these are basically identical. Um, the white is slightly different and you can kind of see that here. Hopefully it'll show up in the photos. Uh, my newer 1X set, is slightly brighter and like less eggshell than the older ones were. It's the same as the pads too. Um, but besides that, these gloves are pretty much identical. I haven't noticed any differences between them at all. Um, so these these also come out of the Canadian factory, the JRZ factory, or at least I think they do. They're tagged on the blockers. They're not tagged on the catching gloves, but the one S's were tagged at JRZ. So I'm not sh exactly sure what's going on there, but these are pretty similar. Um, so no big differences there. These gloves, I know, were made after the demo pads were. They had a date of production on them, the blocker does, and they both came brand new when the pads were used, so that could be why they're kind of closer in that regard. So the gloves are pretty simple. We'll get rid of these. Now, the blocker, as you can see, is fairly new on the demo set, and there's a reason for that. Now, both of these were ordered, or this one was ordered stock. It's there's nothing I changed on it. It's just a normal stock 1X blocker. It's honestly one of my favorite blockers on the market. People don't like the binding. That's fine. Um, I really do like it. Again, both of these are made in J are made in Canada for JRZ. You can see the tag right there. Again, these will be in the photos in the link below on the website uh, to kind of show the photo comparison, but I'm just doing it quick in the video. So this blocker is fantastic. Um, the reason I haven't worn this one a lot is actually because of how the index finger is. You can see how it kind of sticks out over here and it actually gets in the way of the stick. Now you can push it on the inside, but it still gets in the way of the stick. It kind of sticks out too far there. Whereas the one I have doesn't stick out nearly as much. You can see where it comes to the end of the extra uh, like wear padding on the nylon there where here it doesn't come close to it. And even if I bend it out, it kind of comes back. This one, you bend it out and it stays there. So when this one closes, it doesn't interfere with the stick. This one does. Um, I grab my stick to show how this works or how it gets stuck. So you put it on and you can see I'm kind of having problems getting it in and it stays up like that. So when you slide it, it doesn't really move. It stays there. And this stick does have a bit of grip to it, but I did it with foam cores too, and it was a problem as well. When I was playing, the glove would be like this, and I'd have to shove it down with my catching glove. Because one, it doesn't really do much there, and it gets in the way. So my puck handling ability is bad, it's bad enough as it is, 
this did not help at all, and I couldn't really grab onto sticks well enough. Um, and just to show you, the act, the one I had. Now, as you can see, it still get, hits a bit, but it's nowhere near. I can actually slide it. I can put my hand there. Everything is fine. On the wood stick I have, I had no issues at all with this. Um, so again, this is not an issue on the demo set and not my retail set. The colors of these are pretty close, but again, there's that slight eggshell on this one. And, or like, there's slight differences in color. I can't really tell. Like, the blockers are closer than everything else. The pads, there's a huge difference. And it's not because they're used. It's just, uh, they're like, one of the one pad on the demo set is a different color than the other one. And people actually pointed it out to me when I was waiting to get on the ice. They, they said, hey, do you know your pads are a different color? Being a demo set, I didn't really care, but it would be kind of annoying if you ended up with a pair like that. Um, so these blockers are fairly close besides that index finger part, and that's a huge issue. It's a quality control issue that, like this, I would need to alternate this and cut it or take it off in order to use it. And I really like the index finger protection on these, and especially my old uh, Reactor 6000 blocker, because it had good index finger, and this one's kind of even better. But if it gets in the way, then you can't really use it. All right, so now, I'll, oh, one other thing is both the practice, the pro palm and the regular palm, the weight difference was about 20 grams, so not much. Um, so you wouldn't even notice it on the ice to get that extra padding. Um, okay, so that's it for the gloves. Now we'll move on to the pads. So now we're going to talk about the pads. Um, again, this is a demo set where this one, and I, it was made quite a while ago. This was made uh, around October-ish of last year. And... So this one's quite newer. This one was probably made before they actually came. the One X's actually came out. So there is some differences on these, which we've seen before in the One S's. Like the newer One S pads have some modifications to make them last longer. So I'm just going to go over some of those differences here just to kind of show them off. Um, one thing is you should be able to notice is the color of the pads are way different. So the one on the left seems much more eggshell. Now, again, you could just say it's dirty, but you can kind of see like the insides too of how this material on uh, the new ones is totally different color than the actual skin and where this one's much more similar. In fact, this material itself does feel a bit different. Now, I'm not sure uh, if it really is and this is just dirty, but this feels more like that material where this one almost feels more like a plastic. Again, it's still sewn in that way, but it does feel a bit different. Um, but the biggest difference on these pads that you can notice is right along this seam here. Now, as you can see, this has the stitching kind of inlaid, kind of like uh, the Pro Stock E-Flex pads do, where they have like, stitching on the inside to keep it its size. This is the same with the, pro, the well, demo set. So as you can see, the material just wraps over it. It's kind of sewn in back here, wraps over the seam and goes in down here. Whereas on the new set, it's much more flush with the landing zone. Now this landing zone is a little bit below, but it's not much. This one is completely flush. Now the stitching on this, as you can see, it seems like it's pretty close to the same spot, but it doesn't come back at all. It sits right there. Now I'm not sure if this after wear and usage will kind of bend inwards and become more regressed like this is. But at the time being, it's much flatter, um, which means this is gonna go on the ice more than the recessed ones here are. Um, that's like the huge big difference I've seen on these two. You can see kind of the material bunch up here where that's not quite as evident here. There is some material there, but nowhere near as much on the demo set. So now um, the backs are identical, just besides dirt. Um, actually, I shouldn't say that because the demo set is a little bit wider out here, so it's a bit of a tighter uh, fit light channel, but it's not much. Now, I think that could just be manufacturing tolerances because this is just sewn in, right? So they could have just sewn in on the inside line or the outside cut, I'm not sure, but there is a slight width difference on there and they're slightly bigger. Um, the next thing I noticed was right at, let's get this out of the way. At the boot right here, the protection, like the, the wear guard basically, is much bigger on the new set than the demo set. You can see the demo set is very small, it has a bunch of material build up right there. 
and is kind of like off of the actual boot brake itself, as you can see. Whereas the one on the new set is right on the boot brake, as you can see, and is much larger. Still got your material buildup, but it's not as soft as this one. Again, it could just be because of use. Um, I'm not too sure. The material right here is slightly bigger on the new one than the demo, but not much. It is bigger on the top though. Um, but I'll get to that later. So that's a little tiny difference. Um, going back on the inside is again on the boot brake, you can see the wear guard is much smaller on the demo than it is on the new one. So the new one covers a lot of the boot brake. As you can see, it's much, much bigger where on the demo it is not. And again, doesn't really cover the material, uh, the boot actual brake on the pad and it's kind of coming up as you can see. Um, whereas the new one covers that brake much better and is actually right on the brake. There is less pad or material bunch up right here. So they got this part tighter on the new one. But again, that could just be, sorry, i trying to get that on camera right here, but that could just be because this is new and these ones have been used. So I don't really want to comment on that part per se. Um, you can kind of see a little bit taller on the new one here for the binding wear on the toe, but not anything huge. Um, and then back at the top, <clears throat> um, the binding on the top is seems slightly bigger, at least when I was looking at it before, and it's pretty much the same all around. These did get bigger on the 1S's compared to the new ones, so it's not a huge difference there. Um, now one of the things that I mentioned in my unboxing video and that I wasn't too happy about was the material bunch up, up here. And you can kind of see it, how it's soft and there's some material right there. Now the design of the pad obviously comes in on an angle like that. And on, but what you can see on the demos is there's no material bunch up comes in on the angle and is flush all the way through and that's hard and everything is good. With this, it's, there's your angle and it's all soft and there's kind of material just kind of looks bunched up and it's not flat with the actual like outside roll where the demos are actually better in that regard right there. But that's not a huge issue and that's kind of me being nitpicky there. I mean, I would expect a little better than this for a $2,000 pad, but it's not awful. Um, I think that that's basically it for these. The weight of these is within 20 grams again. So it's not a difference where I would actually say, like it's just a small tolerance. It might even be the straps where I had to use my own buckles for the heel straps because these didn't have it, where the, one, the new ones have the CRS system. Um, so that could be the difference in the weight right there, but they're pretty close in that regard. The big difference though is, well one of the big difference is the color is huge. But, and just to show you, the other 1X I have, so there's the two next to each other. Now this one, to me, looks a bit more eggshell and to some of my teammates it did too. Um, but as you can see them all next to each other, there is slight differences there in color. Um, so that about wraps it up for the video. This was kind of just an informative piece and something I wanted to do uh, before I sent these off to their next owner to actually be used. Um, just because I, I like to document the gear I get and these, I did find some slight differences with these compared to these and I wanted to kind of give these one more farewell video. Um, so thank you for watching. Hopefully it was somewhat inf uh, informative, some way or shape or form. Um, but yeah, that's about it. Uh, you will see a full review of these coming very shortly. Uh, and finally, I hate to do this, but remember to subscribe to me on YouTube. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram. The links are in the description below. And check out the website for all the pictures of these because I'll do some comparison pictures and show them off side by side on the website, which will be again in the link below. So that's it. Take it easy.